today might be a banger, a banger episode, one that will be talked about for ages, and I mean like a couple days, I mean that's a long time on the internet, I mean that's like 40 years, 50 years, I'm crazy, but we got a pair of shoes that has only been seen on this channel a couple times, not this, not this specific pair, but like this silhouette I guess I should say, has only been seen a couple times, um, it's one that I just I don't find myself being attracted to as much as I think I should be, and I, I guess that's just like a hype beast part of me talking. Um, everybody loves a shoe apparently. Um, for me, it's just I, I don't really like high top shoes. I think it's I just my stature. I'm shorter, you know. I'm five eight, which is average. So I don't know. Why I just said shorter. I'm I'm average height. Like get off me. Um, but I just feel like high tops don't really compliment me as much as like low tops do because I can style more with low tops and. All that kind of jazz, um, but this color was immaculate to me, and they did a restock on the sneakers app, and I hit surprisingly. It's one of like the four dubs I've had in my entire lifetime. It's actually like six now. I've actually had pretty good luck um, this year with sneakers, so hopefully that continues. Um, I don't really know what else is coming out this year, but you know, hopefully it continues. I can hit on more stuff, get more videos, or make some more money. You know, I'm I'm down for whatever, whatever they want to give to me, I'll do. Um, but yeah, so glad I hit on these this restock. I know a lot of people are after these. Um, I was originally because I've, I've wanted them since I've seen pictures of them. Um, and I was able to get them. And I was super happy. Um, super happy with that. Um, and I'm, I've rocked them two or three times already. I'm going to continue to rock them. Um, but yeah, we're just going to jump right into it. Um, as you can see by the box, if you guys watched my Bright Blues video a couple days ago, you guys saw the sneak peek of these. Jordan 1 box. Uh, like I said, we haven't seen this too many times on the channel at all. Um, in all of its glory. And we got right there, size 10. Um, Air Jordan 1, Retro Ohio G. I don't know if this has a color code. Does this have a color code on it? Oh, yeah, it does. Right there. White, black, university blue. Ooh -wee. Inside, we got nothing except for the shoe trees that came with them and the paper. Um, there's the quality control tag in case anybody thinks they're fake. Never had anybody say that to me, so I appreciate you guys for believing that I just get all my shoes for retail or buy them off resale websites. Appreciate that. Um, none of my shoes are fake. Um, I don't mean that as like a flex. It's just haven't needed to do any of that. I mean, I've thought about it a couple times. Travis Scott ones I want really bad. Might get a replica of those, but it, because it's just I'm not paying two grand for a pair of shoes. Sorry, whoever hates replica shoes. That's just how it is. Um, if you guys are gonna hate on it, I want to see you buy them and wear them for three thousand um, dollars. You probably won't. So that's just my hot take there. Um, I'm gonna preface this with a little disclaimer. I did change out one of the shoes, shoelaces, for these pink ones that I bought off Amazon. Um, here is the company that they came from all that good stuff um, I'm gonna change the other shoe after this video I just wanted to get one with the laces I'm gonna have in them and then one with the laces that come with it um, they come with just your standard black flat laces um, I know a lot of people just kept black flat laces in them I'm sure like sale or off-white or cream laces would also look pretty good in these but I just chose to get pink because I thought that would be a good color combination um, but without further ado, here is the sneaker, the Jordan 1 High OG, whatever they want to call it, um, University Blue. Um, it's baby blue, just immaculate color in my opinion. I, I love the color on these shoes. This is one of the most solid colors to rock for summer, spring that you could have. I, I, I really don't know. Pink, maybe. I mean, like pink could be like the other color, but I think this is just... This is just such a good shoe. Um, I don't say that about very many things, especially Jordans. Like I said, I'm not a hater on them, but I just um, I don't really say that very often. But these are very exquisite shoes. As you can see, you got the leather with the perforations on it so your foot can breathe. Um, you get the leather on the sides. This leather is buttery. Pretty good quality on this. Um, better, better, definitely better quality on these than the Shadow One, the Shadow 2.0. The Shadow 2.0 felt like garbage compared to this. Um, which, you know, I don't know what that means. As you've seen, I've already worn them a little bit. Uh, like I said, two or three times. Um, yeah, just super solid. Um, I did put crease protectors in these, so they don't crease as bad. 
Um, as you guys know, or I don't know if you've seen my Couture's, I don't have anything in them. I just wear them. Um, I was going to do that to these, but I was like, I just, I think these might look somewhat better in like almost pristine condition. So I'm going to try to keep them as crisp as possible. Um, but I won't be super sad if they crease because that's just how, how it works. When you walk, you have to, you know what I mean? You have to move your toes so you technically should crease your shoes um, if you're walking normally but those crease protectors should help me quite a bit in the long run um, and then as you can see I lace mine up to just underneath the two eyelets that are on the top of the shoe I do not put it through the tongue um, and that's how I wear my Jordan these at least these Jordans the other ones I have I think I have up to the, f the first eyelet um, just to get like a tighter fit on them because I wear them to work all the time but these I think would be okay with just having them like this and then I'll show you the other one where I did the lacing with the pink laces. And there she is. I think that's beautiful. I think that color combination is absolutely gorgeous. Um, definitely excited to wear them like this. I think this is just like the quintessential look um, for spring, summer for this shoe. I think the pink just complements it perfectly. I think um, come maybe a fall time, I might switch them back out for the black ones. That might be like a better fall time look. Um, but I also don't see myself wearing these during the fall time very much because I'll start wearing the Couture's more than these. But I think this pink lace swap is going to be a really good one. I haven't, I try to look for pink lace swaps um, on YouTube before I bought them, but I couldn't find any for at least this shoe. Maybe like one, but it was, you know, it was quick little things, not like a quick, you know, a good look at them. So I'm hoping this guys this helps you guys determine if you want to do a lace swap on these or not. Um, I did a lace swap on my Couture's. I don't know if you guys have watched my shoe collection video. They come with black laces. I put like off-white sail laces in them, and that looked really, really good. Um, so this is another good um, lace swap that I think you guys could do. And like I said, I think off-white cream would also work really well in this shoe um, just to complement that baby blue. And then if you guys didn't know, which I'm sure you did if you are interested in this shoe at all, um, it is a suede material on the toe cap all the way up. basically anywhere that's blue is a suede um so if you're gonna crep them crep them good because if these get wet i don't know how they would look um because suede obviously does not do very well in wet conditions um but you know I'm, i don't plan on wearing these unless i know it's going to be sunny and warm uh, that's basically what i'm gonna wear these so yeah we're gonna do an on foot of these give me like two seconds to put them on um, styling advice for these, obviously you can do whatever you want, you know, your shoes are your shoes, you can do whatever you want with them. Um, usually I try to wear my Jordans, um, with pants just because, um, I know if you wear them with shorts, it can kind of look a little odd if you're not tall, um, which I'm not tall as we discussed, I'm average height. So I don't want to be seeing a bunch of these, like short comments now though so don't be doing that to me um don't be doing that to me on the comment section don't be to call me short or anything not a oompa loompa or a hobbit i got them normal feats boys all right there we go i kind of kind of tuck this in a little bit um there is your look at the air jordan one on foot with the pink laces um like i said i th these i might actually have to lace up to the first eyelet though because these laces are kind of long um, I bought with what should have been normal size laces for Jordan 1 but as you can see these are almost touching the floor um, so I'll probably have to go up one more eyelet on these pink laces which is fine um, nothing too crazy um, there's the black laces with the pant leg going over the top of the shoe so it almost looks like a low um, there's like a two styles you could do it with um, I just wore some like cream sail like canvas pants that I got from Old Navy the other day. I think these are a good look for these. Um, they complement, they cover the color complement pretty well. Um, but yeah, like I said, there's the look at the the pink laces in case anybody was wondering what they look like on feet. And then there's the black laces on feet. I'll go ahead and tuck that one in so you guys can see better what they look like. Yeah, so like I said, pretty solid. Um, I do like these pink laces quite a bit because they do help the shoe pop a little bit more than the black laces for sure um but obviously that's just my opinion you know you can put whatever laces you want in it you can keep the black ones i don't think there's anything wrong with the black ones by any means um it's just you know your own personal opinion take both of them off so we can get one last look at them side by side black and pink
I would keep them like this, like one black, one pink. But like I said, I have to like put these up one more and I it would not look right. So I'm going to be taking the black ones out, putting them both pink, and then we're going to be going up one more eyelet to get that little extra slack out of there. Um, so we're going to finish off the video with the black pair, or the black lace pair. Um, in my opinion, this is one of the most solid Jordan 1s in the past couple of years. Um, Travis Scott's and Mocha's are some of my other favorites. Um, the Hyper Royals, I just didn't get behind. I just, there was something about them I just didn't like. I think it's like the distressed kind of look that I just didn't care for. But I think these are pretty good. Super glad to have them in my collection for sure. I'm definitely going to wear these for a long time to come. These are not leaving my collection anytime soon. No way. Uh, no way, Jose. Kind of off center. There we go. Um, but yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go and drop a like. I would appreciate it. Help support the channel, help support me, help us grow and get more content out like this. Doing these lace swaps and stuff. Let me know if you want me to, if you want to see me do any more lace swaps and any other shoes that I have. I'd be more than happy to show you guys some stuff. Um, or if you want to see like maybe different colors in these, I can do a whole video about like maybe different colors um, and different options for styling these with different laces. Whatever you guys want to see, let me know in the comment section below. I do read those and I do reply to all of them, surprisingly. Um, and subscribe to stay up to everything you do have, or everything I'm going to upload. Um, more than likely after these, we got another pair of Yeezys that I hit for retail on Confirmed, which I'm excited about. They replaced my long lost foam runners. Rip the boys, got a lot of money off of those, but I miss them. But we got a replacement pair. You guys will see those here soon. I'm excited about those. Um, I'm going to assume that I'm going to go for Supreme when it drops today, which will be the Thursday, um, like June 4th I think or June 3rd or something I don't I don't even know what day it would be um, but it'd be like the, the week with the um, the vampire backpack I think I'm gonna go for that as long as they retail and that's not insane because um, I have the vampire keychain so I can put that on there it'd look pretty cool um, but yeah I'm sure I'm sure there's lots more things to come I'm always hitting on shoes I'm always grabbing more stuff so there's always videos to make and I still need to do an outfits video which I'm finally gonna start doing here soon because it's actually warm enough and sunny enough for me to actually go outside and like be comfortable wearing t-shirts or shorts if I need to instead of it being like 40 degrees trying to be like I feel great in this t-shirt and shorts guys um but yeah that's all the stuff you can expect to see if you do subscribe um I do appreciate you guys tuning in to all these videos the support's been really great so far um as of recent been doing really well um makes me feel really good knowing that everybody appreciates the content I put out and that they actually watch it and kind of reply to it and it helps them you know because like I said this guys, if this helps you guys choose some laces for your Jordan 1s, great. I'm glad I could help you guys because I think they look pretty good. Um, but yeah, uh, really do appreciate you guys for tuning in. And until next time, peace out.